Open streets are community-based programs that temporarily open selected streets to people by closing them to cars. By doing this, the streets become a place where people of all ages, abilities and backgrounds can come out and improve their health. It's a really beautiful way to see the city. There's just tons of people, all different kinds, all different ages. There's even a segment called the Recrovia, and this is absolutely great because they have about 28 stages with aerobics instructors and Roomba instructors, and they're giving free classes to any citizen that wants to participate. It's really something beautiful to see. A whole different perspective. I mean, you know, you, you, you zip by it in a cab usually. Well, you get to see things that you would never otherwise see. You know, the statue of Cornelius Vanderbilt. Who knew? The best part is watching people look up and enjoy buildings from the safety of the street instead of avoiding looking up because they're trying to avoid collision with motorists. For eight years, we've been anxious to go come out of the house and sit on the grass. You can sit here and have lunch. It's a wonderful place to be, but it's it, it's terrible during the day with the cars going along and the fumes and the noise and the horns and everything. But today, it's incredible. It was fantastic. I thought that it was great. I did see a lot of children really having fun. It's ridiculously fun. They should have done this a long time ago. We say healthiest practice because this is a tried and tested model developed by experts based on results. Participating in Healthiest Practice Open Streets regularly, people can begin to change their habits and a city can change its culture of health. La primer pregunta que nos hacemos nosotros es, ¿qué hacían estos 400,000 usuarios antes de que existiera la vía recreativa? ¿Qué hacían en esas seis horas que ahora le robamos al automóvil todos los domingos? Estaríamos en, en casa viendo la televisión o haciendo cosas estáticas en casa. Eh, la realidad es que desde que la vía recreativa está en la ciudad, eh, buscamos siempre empezar el domingo pedaleando un poco aquí en la vía. I actually felt tears of joy riding because it's such an experience to be here riding. It's a sense of freedom, seeing people in all ages on all different bikes with their dogs, with their kids, with their scooters. <laughs> For me, it's an example of sustainable happiness. Some communities that are seeing a big impact from this program are cities like Bogota, Colombia and Guadalajara, Mexico. In these cities, people are coming together every Sunday to take advantage of the centralized and free health promotion program. Cities across North America have been moving forward pursuing their own open streets programs and are starting to see the power they have to get people up and active. It can be very, very successful anywhere in the world, in any type of climate, in any type of society, because one of the things that is universal is how people enjoy the presence of others. Pues, eh, todos los domingos y festivos se adecuan unas vías especiales para que la gente salga, haga deporte, se monte en bicicleta y patine. No se necesita tanto dinero ni nada para recrearse una. Maravillosa la ciclovía. Mejor que ha llegado aquí a, a Colombia lo que han inventado. Lo mejor de la ciclovía es, lo es eh, la oportunidad que tiene la familia para disfrutar la ciudad. Eso es lo mejor. My first impressions of seeing uh, open streets in Guadalajara is um, this is far beyond my expectation. I knew it would be lively and I knew there would be a lot of people, but I still just could not imagine um, that it would be what it was, all the people in the streets doing all sorts of activities. I think it's important to learn from programs like this because you see how it changes the way people see their city, that it changes the way they interact with public space with parks, with uh, the streets, with the roads, and then with each other. You saw complete strangers kind of teaching each other how to hula hoop. That sense of community uh, and how we interact with each other at our places was, is really uh, special and something that I think we can learn from. The general interest, as we can see, is that people want to take over the streets and people want to have fun and people want to meet out as equals and this develops a sense of belonging and this is really what makes New York the greatest city in the world. It actually reminds me a lot of Bogota, like all the, dan the dance classes in the middle of the street. I don't know how everyone found out about it because the crowds are huge. This is a unique experience, first time in New York City I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing this. Yeah. I'm going all the way downtown and coming back, all the way uptown. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, this is great fun. They should close the streets more often. Summer streets, we love them. It really shows that traffic is not like the weather. It's not just something that is there and you can't do anything about. And that when you get the cars out of the way, it really shows people what more can be done with the streets in the city and how they can be put to much higher uses. I'm sitting in the middle of Park Avenue and it is quiet and peaceful and wonderful. I got my kids right here and I'm not worried that they're gonna get run over by a car. I'm not paranoid that I have to keep an eye on them every second or their lives are in danger. You close the streets to traffic and the whole world opens up. Well, it all comes down to four defining elements. Number one, selecting an iconic route with neighborhood connections. Selecting the route is key. The route selected and open to people during an open streets program should be strategically chosen to include iconic streets that people already like going to, not just bridges, parkways, or trails. There should typically be one main street along with smaller intersecting streets to connect to different social, economic, and cultural areas of the city. The route length should be determined based on attracting and retaining the interest of walkers, runners, and cyclists alike. It should take at least 20 minutes to bike the route one way. We suggest a route no less than 3 miles or 5 kilometers for smaller cities and 6 miles or 10 kilometers for mid to large cities, with the goal of expanding that route year after year to connect to as many people as possible. It is also important that the route stay consistent so that local residents and vehicle traffic can anticipate the street opening each week, month, and year. Number two is frequency. It is important that healthiest practice open streets programs take place with predictable regularity so participants are able to plan their attendance and change their behavior to be physically active on a regular basis. In Guadalajara and Bogota, frequency is every Sunday and on holidays. Each community's needs will be different, but we suggest starting out with a monthly program in good weather months and increasing to a weekly program as quickly as possible. Empezamos con 11 kilómetros, con 35 mil personas el primer día y, y solo con 4 horas, de las 8 a las 12. Al tercer domingo ya se amplió el programa hasta las 2 de la tarde, que ya son 65 kilómetros. Y a 7 años de que se inauguró esta vía recreativa, actualmente tenemos alrededor de 400 mil usuarios todos los domingos. Number 3, including hubs of complementary programming. Hubs of complementary programming are hubs of programmed activities and publicly accessible spaces along the route that focus on offering physical activity classes, such as dancing, yoga, aerobics, and hula hooping, or other wellness-oriented activities like nutritional education, heart rate measurements, and healthy food options. It is important to have these hubs spaced out along the route as they enhance the health focus and encourage participants to move throughout the program. On the roads, people walk and run and bike and skate, but also along the route, there are activities for people that want to do other things. So people can skip rope or people can do hula hoops, aerobics and uh, children's arts and crafts. Que si ven, este, hay muchas familias, hay niños, sus papás están ayudándolos. Es como que convivencia familiar. Lo que más me gusta es que compartimos en familia, eh, hacemos ejercicio y pues de una manera muy sana enseñamos a nuestra bebé desde pequeña a cómo divertirse sanamente. I think it was very good idea to open this this avenues to the uh, people. It uh, brings a uh, good time to the families and and makes it very uh, united. Hello. Tanto los niños como los grandes también debemos de venir a caminar para la salud. A mí me gusta venir a la vía recreativa, a saltar la cuerda, a bailar con el aro y a muchas cosas más. That brings us to number four, ensuring it's free and accessible. Healthiest practice open streets programs are designed to be inclusive of all ages, abilities, and socioeconomic circumstances. So all the users, including walkers, runners, cyclists, rollers, strollers, and those with disabilities and or mobility devices should feel welcome. And the program should be barrier free, with no user fees to participate in the street opening or any of the complimentary programming. So there you have it. Pretty great, right?
el camino. En el camino hemos aprendido que más allá del, del recreo, del ejercicio, está la convivencia familiar, el construir comunidad, el, el construir sociedad. Public spaces are the ones that belong to everybody. And that's why an activity like this is also so important, so that we learn. If we see any streets from the air, the biggest public place are the streets. And we gotta realize that the streets are not just for moving cars. The streets can be used for many, many things, and they can have different uses according to the day of the week, according to the time of the day, and according to the general interest of the city. So it's two o'clock today and the ciclovia is almost over. We've had a really long day. We got up at five in the morning and we got to see how it all started. Everything from packing up the vendor stations and the trucks to barricading the streets and closing it to cars. It was pretty light traffic at the beginning because the weather wasn't so great, but at about eight o'clock it started getting packed. La comunidad, unos y otros estamos aprendiendo a entender que las ciudades son para las personas y no son para los carros. It's the biggest program around the world and doing sport 120 kilometers in a city is so different, it's strange. And all once we are university students and it's a good job because we have enough time for that kind of labor. This is beautiful man because we work for the city and every, everybody smiles at you. Uh, this is a very beautiful work. ¿Y cuál es la mejor parte para ti de la ciclovía? La mejor parte es todo, o sea, uno puede salir en bicicleta desde su casa, disfrutar de la ciclovía, puede coger cualquier tra trayecto de la ciclovía, puede llegar a un punto de actividad física, puede disfrutar de la clase y regresarse por ciclovía en su bicicleta de la casa, disfrutar de las comidas que tenemos en los módulos, disfrutar de la atención de los guardianes de la ciclovía. The obesity rates in the, in the U.S. have skyrocketed. Almost every state has obesity, not, not overweight, obesity. And how else can you get thousands and thousands of people doing physical activity? So then the infrastructure is there, it's free. The roads are already there. You, all you gotta do is close it. You need operational costs to set it up. And then you can get this fantastic idea, which is like a party that everybody attends. The rich and the poor and the young and the old and everybody. Lo más importante es la ciclovía integración de las personas, sobre todo aquí en Bogotá. Y por los, más que todo por los eventos que han hecho, la gente ya se ha unido más a la ciudad. Definitivamente lo que caracteriza a la ciclovía de Bogotá es la gente, el recurso humano, eh, las ganas de hacer las cosas bien y de aportar un granito de arena para la convivencia ciudadana. Pues la ciclovía está muchísimo llena de historias de personas que se han conocido, se han enamorado y se han casado. Y de la ciclovía al deporte, vida, aire puro. A las 7 de la mañana ya la gente comienza a invadir las calles y en la medida que va pasando el día, hay ciclistas y gente caminando en patines, familias, ya comienzan a hacer uso de la ciclovía. Este, esta vía, que tiene cuatro carriles para los vehículos normalmente, se destinan efectivamente la mayoría de los carriles para los ciclistas y solamente se deja un tramo para que la circulación de vehículos de todas maneras pueda seguir funcionando. Esto lo que le ofrece a la, a la gente es muchísima seguridad, muchísima tranquilidad, porque es un espacio muy amplio en el que pueden montar bicicleta, patines o caminar Totalmente seguros, totalmente confiados de que no les va a pasar nada, porque pues es, son vías destinadas específicamente para la recreación, para la convivencia, para hacer actividad física. When we were starting the, the, the ciclovía, when I was commissioner of parks, sports and recreation, we were going to increase from 13k, which is about 8 miles, to over 90k, and we needed a lot of people to work on it. So we put an ad on the paper saying we need supervisors of the ciclovía, and these are the requirements. We got 20 resumes and we were expecting over 200. So at the time, the number one program on Colombians TV was Baywatch. So we put an ad on the paper saying, we need Baywatch, tall, handsome, athletic, blah, blah, blah. And we got 1,500 resumes, which shows that social marketing works. 
And so now these people are called bike watch, and they are like the managers of the ciclovia. Aparte de que es un trabajo en donde uno hace deporte, es un trabajo que puedes tener contacto directo con las personas, y eso es muy gratificante. Cuando es, digamos, eh, le ofreces una actividad a un niño y él te, da, te regala una sonrisa, las gracias, eso es lo más gratificante para mí. El significado de la recreativa de la ciclovía es que es una alternativa diferente que tienen los ciudadanos para hacer cualquier tipo de actividad física. En la recreativa tenemos diferentes actividades desde las 8 de la noche hasta las 1 de la noche. La primera sesión que tenemos es una clase de aeróbica básica. La segunda clase es el stretching. La siguiente clase es una clase para los niños. Y la clase para los niños la practicamos con los padres y los niños actividades con música. How excited do people get? That a lot. They are very happy. They prefer come here instead of being house in the house. Desde que tenemos la recreovía se ha cambiado más a nivel de tolerancia. Las personas son más tolerantes, son más consecuentes a las actividades que se realizan, presentan mejor calidad de vida y andan más alegres todo el tiempo. A lot of cities are thinking of doing activities like ciclovía. Guadalajara started only two years ago with eight miles. Now they are at 16 miles. Uh, Santiago de Chile started. In Paris, France, they closed some roads. In Ottawa, in Canada, there is like 35 miles of ciclovia on Sundays from May to September. So I think that there are some cities in the U.S. that are thinking about it, such as Baltimore, Cleveland, Chicago, Portland, New York. And this is something that any city could do it, cities of 50,000 people or cities of 10 million people. What's so extraordinary is that this program happens every single Sunday, and yet there are tens of thousands of people out there having a great time, interacting with each other. I got to play with a hula hoop do some double dutch jump roping, do some dancing with some young and old people whom I'd never met before but who were so happy to have me join them. I love the way that uh, people, individuals, uh, all ages were just naturally walking, naturally riding their bikes, uh, individuals on wheelchairs and just the uh, the sense of belonging to their uh, streets was just phenomenal. This really put it nice in perspective. We were in classroom sessions for a day. We had been, I've been to other conferences where you learn about these uh, open streets programs, but to see it in action and see the youth, middle-aged and the senior citizens, we started on a rich end of the open streets to a, a poor end and how all those people intermingle with each other was just phenomenal. To see how people moved through it with ease, uh, there was no stress, so many smiling faces uh, and, and excitement and energy that felt very natural and organic um, is something that we really want to take and bring back to Los Angeles. Um, to see uh, this concept of a temporary park created through existing infrastructure and a way for people to experience their own city in new and exciting ways uh, is incredibly powerful and it can be done at such a low cost with such a high, a high impact. And you see that out there every Sunday here in Guadalajara. Seeing something that gets people out there, being physically active in a way that is so enjoyable and in a way that really brings people together in community, it's been an extraordinary event and I'm so grateful to 880 Cities for making this happen. So this really has given me inspiration to go back to the States and be able to make a difference. Sitting here in the sun, enjoying the day, and it's just great. It's Utopia, New York. Oh! Every day should be Summer Streets Day. <laughs> Yay! There we go. <laughs> all of these people are going to enjoy car free streets from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m., seven miles all the way up some of the most iconic streets of New York. Park Avenue. We encourage everybody to get out and play and take a dance class and aerobicize or cha-cha, uh, do anything you want. And it's not just about being in motion. It's also about if you want to go out and have a cup of coffee and enjoy those streets and, and people watch. I mean, there are wonderful ways to get out and enjoy the streets of New York. And so this is going to be a great Saturday. It's great for fitness. It's great for fun. It's just, it's just a great way to see the city.
So now, what do you guys have to do today? We have to guard the street and protect. Save and protect. We are marshals. We are marshals. <laughs> You're a little scared having the bare feet today? Yeah, I was a little scared first mile, but it's, it's been okay. Yeah? Yeah. And I think we have to applaud the mayor and the commissioner for having had the guts. Sometimes it's so much easier to do nothing, and then when you do nothing, no one complains. But they are doing things and making a city more at the human scale, and I think that's what's exciting. We've got two more Saturdays to go after this, and it's my hope that this becomes an iconic event uh, for New York City for the next 100 years. en estos programas la voluntad política, el trabajo de, agrupa, de organizaciones civiles como en este caso Guadalajara 2020 que ha sido el que también ha ayudado y apoyado a que se desarrolle el proyecto. Well, it takes a lot of coordination among our sister agencies and I have to give a lot of credit to uh, the New York City Police Department who really worked very hard to ensure that the streets work well and that cars were directed away from Park Avenue. Uh, they were terrific, and uh, also for the Department of Sanitation, uh, who had to clean up afterwards. Y sobre todo, se necesita que el que lo maneje, el que lo haga, lo quiera, lo ame, sea un apasionado, un convencido, y quiera mucho desarrollarlo. Pero además de que quiera desarrollarlo él, sea una persona bien terca, bien insistente, y que cuente con apoyos y gobiernos que también quieran apostarle al proceso. Tiene que ser atractiva, tiene que ser en una vía, en una avenida principal de la ciudad, que conecte sitios de interés, que te lleve a algún lugar. We closed Park Avenue, which is a pretty iconic street, and sent a big signal, I think, to New York City and the rest of the country. Y solamente se deja un tramo para que la circulación de vehículos de todas maneras pueda seguir funcionando. Esto lo que le ofrece a la, a la gente es muchísima seguridad. Muchísima tranquilidad porque es un espacio muy amplio. There are things to do for the little children and for the older, older adults, for the men and for the women, for the rich and for the poor. And more than anything, in addition to the wonderful benefits to public health and to the environment and economic development, is the social integration. It's more, almost like an exercise in social integration, which makes it a fantastic place. Really come up with a very effective communications plan and just work and get the message out uh, in as many different ways as possible.